Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain, and holy shit, I'm on fire! No, not really. It's just the shirt. Of course, you figured that out because, uh, well, you're probably pretty smart. So tonight we're going to take a look at a beer from Clown Shoes. It's called Luchador en Fuego. And for those of you saying, uh, well, I don't speak Mexican, en fuego means on fire. And if you need the translation for Luchador, get off my channel. Go watch a fucking My Little Pony video or something. Alright, so Clown Shoes is an awesome brewery. And this one here promises to be a pretty decent beer. It's uh, spiced with vanilla, cinnamon, ancho, and chipotle peppers. Mmm. Spicy beers are really taking off in popularity. Then aged in bourbon barrels. Hmm. So, aged in bourbon barrels, and the base is a stout. So, a bourbon barrel aged stout spiced with several things, including chipotle and ancho peppers, promises to be very, very delicious. While I'm pouring this up, down, <laughs> while I'm pouring this out, hit me up down below with a like and a share, and make sure to subscribe. So you get a notification every time I post a new video. Hopefully you're getting some value out of these. I gotta tell you, this being a spiced beer with ancho and chipotle peppers, it's being considered for my upcoming spicy beer challenge. I'm gonna try and get a couple of buddies together and we're gonna run through a few spicy beers, compare and contrast them. Someday that will be uploaded, can't promise when. But look at how dark that beer is. You cannot see through it. There's maybe a little tiny bit of translucency as I'm seeing a reflection of the light through the glass on the sides, but it's, um, it's not much. Very, very dark. It's got a slight head to it, very small bubbles. A little bit of cinnamon and vanilla coming off of the, the aroma. Nothing really stronger than that. Cinnamon and vanilla. Almost a sweet, sweet aroma. Hmm. Hmm. That is a, a dark, heavy stout, a medium heavy mouthfeel. very distinctly a stout. You can also tell that it's been aged in those bourbon barrels because it's got the char and the bourbon taste very, very up front. As it rolls off the tongue, that bourbon flavor and then the charred wood gives way to a very distinct um, chocolate malt backbone which is obvious by the mouthfeel that you're really going to get that chocolate malt backbone. Also the fact that it's characterized as a stout. You know, I mean, that's, that's a given. Ooh, pardon. A little bit gassy. And the vanilla, the cinnamon, and those extra spices come through in the finish. And the sweetness of those, I think, is, is kind of blending well with the chipotle and ancho peppers. I, there's not a spicy flavor to this at all. I was kind of anticipating, based on the fact that I'm... Uh, ancho and chipotle peppers. I, I really was expecting a, a spiciness to the beer. A, a little bit of a kick or a bite. And especially when they say En Fuego, on fire. Um, this beer is officially out of the spicy beer challenge that I have coming up. Or maybe the uh, spicy beer showdown, because I know my buddies can handle the, the spiciness of the beers I haven't lined up. 
maybe it's a, more of a showdown between the different flavors of them and, and which one's spicier. But there is not a hint of heat at all in this, which it doesn't necessarily make it uh, a letdown because of the overall flavor and the way that peppery flavor blends with the vanilla and cinnamon, the, the spiciness and the overall characteristic of the beer, it makes a very unique experience. I'm, I'm hitting this one with a 4 out of 5, because overall I'm loving the way the different flavors come together. Um, if I had gotten a little bit of hit, heat, a uh, hint of the heat in the finish or in the up front or anywhere in this beer, it probably would have pushed it to a 5 for me. But overall, I'm hitting it with a 4 out of 5 because it's a very delicious, very smooth, very complex beer. But it doesn't live up to the Enfuego, the on-fire expectations set by its name. I'm sorry, guys. I just I expect a spicy beer. When you tell me it's on fire, I want it to set me on fire. Um, but, again, not, not a disappointment at all. Um, just a bit of a letdown in that spiciness. But a very delicious beer. Um, hit me up in the comments and the email link down below. Let me know what you think of the rating, whether you agree or disagree with it. I want to know what you think. If you've got another beer that you want to see reviewed or, um, or maybe something weird you want to see uh, drank in terms of booze, um, starting to dabble in the wine reviews. Hit me up with some suggestions for that as well. Uh, other than that, folks, until next time, cheers. Thanks for having me. Well, oh, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by you. Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American.